In the last class we looked at a topic that was the earth and the solar system and so today we are looking at the topic weather. This topic it's important to note that it's uh, somehow similar with a topic in form 2 called climate and so even as we get into the topic we need to be able to tell the, the two apart. So let's get started. We are going to look at the distinction between weather and climate by defining weather at this moment. So weather is the daily atmospheric conditions of a place at a particular time and changes from place to place and time to time. So we are also going to look at the elements of weather briefly, factors to consider in citing a weather station, instruments for measuring weather elements, recording and calculating weather data, structure and composition of, of the atmosphere. We'll just do a review. We covered that in our previous topic. Weather forecasting, factors influencing weather, and we'll be ready to ace that exam. So the elements of weather, these the, the as follows. Temperature, humidity, atmospheric pressure, wind, sunshine, cloud cover. To be able to explore these, we need a weather station. And these are the characteristics. These are the favorable characteristics that you should consider for a weather station site. An, op an open place where there is little obstruction of weather elements. We've studied weather elements. So accessible place so that recording can be done easily you don't put that in a bush a fairly level or gently sloping ground so that it's easy to position weather instruments the place should provide a wide view of the surrounding landscape and the sky four the site should be free from from flooding and finally the place should have security well needless to say so we didn't define a weather station. So a weather station is a place where observation, measuring, and recording of weather elements is done. So let's look at the instruments that um, uh, necessitate the need for a weather station. So we have a thermometer, which is used to measure temperature. We have a hygrometer, used to measure humidity, a rain gauge, used to measure rainfall, a barometer, used to measure air pressure, sunshine recorder, used to measure the sunshine duration and intensity, a wind vane, to measure wind direction, anemometer, to measure wind speed, evaporimeter, to measure the rate and amount of evaporation. And so some of these instruments, they are quite small, and so they need a housing. What do we call that? It's a seven zone screen, a white wooden box mounted on four legs used to house thermometers and hygrometers. Well, of course we we can't house a, a sunshine recorder there. Maybe we can, but we for sure we can't house a wind vane inside here. So uh these are the qualifications which make a steven sun screen suitable for its work. This is examinable. So it's painted white for little absorption of solar heat energy. It's made of wood, which is a bad conductor of heat. The four legs are usually metallic to prevent termites from destroying the wood. It's well ventilated to allow easy flow of air inside. It's raised to prevent contact with terrestrial radiation. And has double roof, which acts as an insulator to prevent direct heating from the sun and so as we go get to, to a break this next topic is discussed under the details of elements of weather which is um, a, a different video linked above and so let's get some break yeah and so um you can get the geography app which has details of all these even as you consider 
looking at out the next video on elements of weather and all that and so that's it's available on google play and that's the icon if you just search for a geography app you can relate that to the brown icon on that image so uh we are going to look at uh weather forecasting again for a moment um well we can't forecast weather if we don't have the weather station that's why we discussed the weather station uh first so let's get back so weather forecasting this is a prediction of the state of the atmosphere in a particular region over a period of 24 to 48 hours and so to predict whether ele weather elements of weather such as wind direction atmospheric pressure temperature and cloud cover observed what's more why is it significant significant it enables farmers to plan their farming activities accordingly people are forewarned thus can dress appropriately and plan their activities aviation weather forecasting is important as aircraft takeoffs and landings can be affected by weather uh, military personnel can plan their military activities based on the expected weather conditions and maybe another point you can consider is knowing beforehand about possible calamities related to the weather can help us cope better by taking precautionary measures and so this is what we we should have covered by now so there's something uh, different i like to consider so there's some factors that hinder weather forecasting i don't know whether you've considered that so i'll mention it uh, quickly so we have inadequate data which is uh, data on some element is limited such as on soil temperature and evaporation uh, we also have an inaccurate or unreliable data brought by problems of exposure of sensors their accuracy sensitivity and the precision they can read well we also have other intervening factors such as slope nature of vegetation and finally we have inadequate personnel in the developing world who lack uh, the skill due to limited training facilities and maybe use of defective and obsolete equipment that lead to inaccurate results and so this should bring us to the end of our topic our next topic will be statistical methods and see you in that class